boys and girls, thanks for coming back. Appreciate. I wish you guys had a great weekend. My weekend was great as usual. Uh, Saturday night was a party in Santa Monica. And today I came back home working on this YouTube channel. So it's kind of, and yesterday my video last night wasn't that great. I know that. Uh, I was just doing it in a rush, so I just uh, kind of goofed up. Just got to admit it, you know. Uh, if in, in life, if you don't admit, you won't learn. So that's uh, boils down to that, you know. Anyway, let's talk about credit in business. Uh, what do I think about credit in business? In my opinion, credit in business is the worst thing you can have. So you really need to, when you are opening a business, I mean, you do need to have some money to open the business, that's for sure. And if you are trying to use the credit, you have to use it in a really, really cautious way because it will catch up with you and it can just uh, ruin your business and your uh, future because it's credit in business, it's really costly. I mean, in personal life too, I don't believe in credit card, even though I use credit card, but I try to pay the bills before it even shows up. But sometimes I can't do it. So, I mean, there's nothing wrong with that. It's just, you know, you, you come to a point that you just can't do it. So, but I would say the solution for that actually is try... Uh, to do something uh, more of magic, manageable things. And uh, one thing is, uh, like, you must be able to collect your money beforehand uh, to do that, and because that will be less problematic for you. Otherwise, uh, it becomes like a nightmare, and then you're chasing that. Because uh, when you give a credit is one thing, when you get a credit is different thing. So let's say I give a credit to a client. Uh, I, as a small business, giving a credit to a client, it's uh, like if it's a dollar amount, it's really substantial. It ceases to become my problem, not their problem. If it's a small amount, it's okay. But when it's the dollar amount is big, it becomes my problem, not their problem. But when you do get a credit, let's say from a bank, from any institution, uh, you basically sign the dotted line to pay them. And if you don't have the money, they're going to just ruin your credit. And that's just going to cost you more down the road. So the best thing is not to take a credit and try not to give a credit and try to work as like a cash basis uh, so it's easier to manage it. Uh, maybe to do the business in a smaller portion rather than thinking about, oh, okay, so you're going to hit the lotto or you're going to hit the jackpot or, you know, something is magical is going to happen. It really, there's no magical will happen. So... That's all I could tell you about it for credit. I mean, especially, you know, naming the credit card company like American Express, Capital One, Chase, Wells Fargo, all of these things. These are bloodsuckers. I mean, seriously. Uh, I won't, I don't care about their point, their mileage, nothing like that. You know, so... I normally use my Apple card, which is I get a like a two percent uh, cashback right away. I literally just uh, uh, I use that because it's easier, better. I don't like to use the ones that they give you mileage. The mileage one is just dumbest thing, and people they think that they are earning something, but in reality, you're spending more money. With credit card, using a credit card, you really are spending more money. You cannot manage it because it's like 
they give you some uh, free time, but they are trapping you. So that's the reason you, you should stop using a credit card. I'm going to give you an example. Like I had a Capital One that my limit was $25,000. And they, in, during the pandemic, they let me to jack it up, go to like 50 some thousand dollars, and all of a sudden they stopped. But then what happened is I owe them 50 some thousand dollars. So if they would end up giving me, and it was my fault, be honest, it was my fault. I just got to the trap. I mean, they put the trap, it was just a rat type of trap, and I got in there, and bam, you know, uh, they basically knocked me down. I paid them, but that wasn't the point. The point is, you know, I ended up spending more than what I needed because, oh, okay, I have credit card, I'll use that, but that's wrong. I mean, that's just wrong. Yeah, some people, they're going to say you need to be responsible. Trust me, I was responsible, and lots of people are responsible, but in the, at the end of the day, they'll be catched by the, their trap. It has nothing to do with the responsibility. That's the way this freaking system is set up. They set up to suck your money. All they, these, these big banks that, you know, uh, they have all these big buildings, this, that. Uh, they are living in a lavish, uh, uh, they have a lavish lifestyle. They're living in like a amazing houses. You know, they set up to suck your blood, basically, your money, your hard working money. So you should not give it to them. Stop it. Just purely stop the damn thing. It's not a good idea. It's not a good idea to think that you know you're earning a mileage. I personally don't give a crap about any mileage. Okay? If it's a cash rebate and if I can afford to pay it right away, yeah. But if it's a, even a cash rebate, if I can't afford to do it right away, I lose. Because you end up paying, I don't know, 15, 20%, 22% interest for 2% cash back. Figure that mathematic. So, do not use credit card. As I said before, too, and I will say this, you know, I admit that Dave Ramsey on this matter is 100% right. Do not use credit card because credit card is not for you. It's for the banks to, to make more money from you. Anyway, thanks for watching. I don't want to get too emotional about this thing. I wish you guys have a great week. Enjoy your week, coming week. Be uh, very um, careful out there and have a great time. Thanks a lot. And don't forget to subscribe and hit the like button, please. Thank you very much. Bye-bye.